Now for this part then, we've got to find dy dx in terms of x. And to do this, what we would do is go back to this particular result, that dy by dx is the same as 1 divided by dx dy. A result that we should know. So that's going to mean that what we've got here is that this is equal to 1 divided by all of 2 sec 2y tan 2y. So we'll just write that in first, 2 sec 2y tan 2y. But we're still in terms of y. Now this tan 2y, we can develop this term here. Sec 2y, that's good. We've got sec 2y is x, so this part here is 1 over 2x, but it's the tan 2y that is the problem at the moment. But it is no problem because what we've got to remember is drop back to basic identities that we learnt before. Pythagorean, the, trig, the, the Pythagorean uh, identities as they're often known. And that is that 1 plus tan squared of an angle, let's say theta, is identical to sec squared of that same angle, theta. So if I was to rearrange this by subtracting 1 from both sides, I'd therefore have that tan squared theta is identical to sec squared theta minus 1. And so therefore tan of theta will be the square root of sec squared theta minus 1. And don't make the mistake of saying that's sec theta minus 1, so trying to square root each of those two terms. You can't do that. So it's sec squared theta minus 1 all square rooted. And so what that's really implying then, if, if theta, let's just put if theta equals 2y, then we've got the tan of 2y is the square root of sec squared 2y minus 1. So I could write this in then as equals 1 over the 2 sec 2y multiplied by the square root then of sec squared 2y minus 1. And now I know that sec 2y is the same as x, I can finish this off as 1 all divided by 2x multiplied by the square root then of x squared minus 1. So we've got now dy by dx totally in terms of x. Alright?